Oscar Remihana back in your natural weight class this weekend for the King in the Ring eight man. I guess, first of all, how nice is it for you not have to make that cut to middleweight? Oh, bro, it makes things way easier. The, um, when I cut to 72, it was a bit, uh, oh, a bit full on. And probably never do that again. But yeah, no, nah, 80 kg is a good, comfortable way to. When you talk about it being pretty full on, that last cut, uh, can you sort of just, I guess, go into a little bit more detail? How did you feel? Like, And I know that tournament didn't go too well for you. and We'll talk about that a little bit later, but yeah. uh, just how you felt going into that one. Oh, yeah, I saw, bro. I was just depleted as eh? I was dieting for weeks of that and just, I did everything properly, but just that last oh, sort of few kgs just sort of, yeah, just drained me. Eh? It was just had no energy or nothing. It was just, yeah. Is there something that, you know, it, it technically is an achievable weight and if like fighters like yourself if that is the case like you do whatever you can to make the way like is that something that fighters maybe need to not try to do so much i know you want to take the fights you want to take the opportunities but you've kind of got to weigh up the pros and the cons around that yeah yeah i was just like oh yeah because i sort of I just heard it was like 72 kgs. I was thinking back in my younger days and I was like, oh, yeah, I can make that easy as. But, but yeah, no, a bit, bit older, a bit bigger now. So, oh, yeah, thought, it was, thought I could do it, but a bit too hectic, yeah. But, yeah, uh, cutting the weight, that's dangerous as. I, yeah, I wouldn't think something needs to be changed about all that. The, what Jason Suddy's doing is good, though, with the gradual weigh-ins and all that. It's good. How do you find that as a fighter having to gradually weigh in? Uh, oh, like, I don't mind it. Like, probably the safer option, but yeah, I don't really mind it too much, but uh, too sure. All good, man. I suppose you just like, show up. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> show up, stand yeah. on a scale, and leave again, right? Jump on the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> easy as that <laughs> pretty strong field uh this weekend obviously people are aware of you um you went into the last one as a favorite you probably go into this one as mm. a favorite as well like do you feel a, a pressure around that or for you is it just a case of ah, just get in there fight and uh take it as it comes yeah, no, nah, there's uh, a few good names in there. I've, I've fought a couple of them for Byron a couple of times, and um, and Terrence, me and Terrence had a few good wars in that. But um, yeah, there's a few strong names in that in the lineup. <clears throat> but um, yeah, I like this fight camp. I sort of just treated it the same as any other fight camp. Just made a few adjustments for the eight man, obviously. But um, yeah, no, nah, not not really putting too much pressure on myself. I learned that from back on the other uh, eight men's in there when I was uh, sort of like uh, expecting things and it just wouldn't happen and it's just, yeah, just sort of just cruising this one. Eh? Do they get any easier over time? Like you say, you sort of might have expected things in a few in the past, but does it get easier to, I guess, plan for something that you can't really plan for as, as you do more of these eight-man tournaments? Yeah, I sort of just, I oh, like to see, I just sort of treat them as any other fight now. Just just got to do three of them. But uh, for the first fight, I'm just going to go hard. Treat it like there's only one. Fair enough. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. yeah I, I see was the looking, stars align, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at the uh, little video of all the, the fighters that Jason Suddy put up um, on the Instagram not long ago. And uh, yeah. there's a clear sort of... Uh, there's a clear gulf in the knockout numbers between you and the rest of the field. Is there a secret yeah. to getting knockouts in kickboxing? Oh, <laughs> I don't know, man. I, just, I, I don't go like looking for them in that or like hunting for them. It's just sort of, when I just see the opportunity, I just freaking jump on it. <laughs> sort of just happens, bro. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Good setup, man. Eh? Yeah, I've had a, had a, yeah, had a few now. So. Oh man, and I know you're training out of City Kickboxing now, but uh, you've had a 
a bit of a bit of a journey to get to this point, right? And I know you're from uh, the Naki originally. Spent some time over yeah, in Bali. Yeah. Uh, can you just sort of yeah. tell us a little bit about your uh, your journey in the sport? Uh, oh yeah. Well, I start from the start. Sort of, I started training with my old man when I was like thirteen ish. Then, um, yeah, just went to a few local gyms down in uh, Tubmaki. Had a few fights out of them when I was about, probably started fighting when I was about 14, something like that, 14, 15. And, um, yeah, then I got, uh, what was it? Oh, I made the New Zealand team when I was uh, 15, I think, for um, the IFMA, you know, IFMA, the, the Muay Thai World Championships, yeah. And then um, did that, uh, ended up getting bronze in the world, so, and then, um, Francis was the head coach of the team at the moment uh, at the time. So when I was like 16, I just went and moved up into, <laughs> into Smack Gym for a couple of years. Just started going harder and then just got wrecked a few fights up and then had a bit of a break uh, for, for a year or so. Then came back and just been going hard ever since. Uh, went to Smack Gym for a bit, then went over to Bali for about a year and a bit. So that was that was pretty good fun. Learned heaps over there with uh, Mike and, and all the boys at Bali MMA. But um, yeah, and then after that, just came straight to CKB. How different is the training yeah. in New Zealand to, compared to Bali? Uh, uh, oh, just the just the people around, I suppose, like all the all the top level fighters in that CKB, all the UFC boys and all that. But um but also all the King of the Ring champions too. They're, they're good to look up to. Like um I feel the boys like uh, Nikola and Navajo and all them. Yeah, good good sparring partners and stuff yeah. Yeah, there's and uh... also U G coaches are just onto it is. Yeah. Yeah, how is it working with uh, the likes of, of Eugene? Everyone sort of refers to him as a bit of a mad scientist around the striking game these days. Yeah, oh, yeah he's yeah. me and him have been working a lot uh, for this fight camp actually. Just sort of uh, oh, working on my weaknesses, I suppose, just adjusting a few things. Um, but yeah, it's pretty, pretty surreal because it's just like. You see him on TV and then it's like, bro, what the heck? <laughs> you're, you're training with him and stuff. So, uh, it's pretty, pretty buzzy, bro. And when you, when you do reflect on, on the last eight man you were in, like, what can you take away from that? You know, given you went into that feeling extremely depleted and like, can you take anything away from it? Uh, oh, sorry. What was that for the, but for the last day, man, man, yeah, when you reflect on that, like, can you yeah. take anything away from that? Or do you just sort of sw- uh, sweep it under the rug because, you know, you, you went into that feeling pretty depleted and uh, the weight cut took a bit out of you? Yeah. Uh, oh, I learned a few things from it. I was just, yeah, not to go back to that weight again. <laughs> but, <laughs> but um, no, I learned a bit like... Uh, just during the when I had that fight and stuff, I was uh, I noticed a few things I was doing wrong stuff and getting yeah oh just sort of I don't know man I just didn't feel myself in there it was just it was it just felt weird bro just yeah it's no energy just, my mind wasn't in there so yeah I is don't that, know just, is that the first time you've sort of felt like that in a fight. Yeah, it just felt real drained there. Yeah. I was real out of it, bro. Like, it just felt real weak and just my head wasn't in the game, bro. It was just, yeah, it was just weird. Yeah, no excuses, though. I was freaking, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's all good. And obviously, uh, your opponent still has to find a shot to put you away, right? Yeah, hard, hard. No, i have still my opponent. He's, he's a good in terms of uh, the future, where, where do you hope to go in the sport? Or are you looking to, I guess, venture into MMA at some point? Like, where do you see yourself in the next few years? Uh, yeah, so I, I, I do want to get into MMA. I've been, um, yeah, that's the, 
that's probably the top goal. But um, yeah, but I just uh, oh, I just want to win the King Ring first. Eh? Get a few more. Hopefully, maybe get a world title or something in kickboxing, and then um, yeah, probably cruise into MMA. So, man, well, I guess this so last just, link. Oh no, sorry, go on. Oh, sort of just going with the flow at the moment. I just sort of pumping a few fights out, <clears throat> getting all the experience, and then yeah get into MMA later on. I suppose you can do that when you're young, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> keeps the time. Exactly. Well, I guess just yeah. you know, lastly, um, for, for anyone sort of on the fence about tuning in or, or even getting along on a Saturday night, why should they be watching this tournament? Like I said before, the the, ta- the tournament itself is uh, is very deep. Um, probably the, the strongest field in, yeah. in a little while. Yeah, well, the, well, yeah, the cards stacked. Like the card speaks for itself. Um, yeah, heaps of exciting fighters. Eighty kg is good weight. It's got power, um, speed, all that. So, plus, I always try to put on an entertaining fight too. So, uh, yeah, be be good to watch. Be a fun one. So, man, well, I'll leave it at that. Uh, thank you very much for the time, and hope all goes to plan on Saturday night. All right, cheers, bro.